name is Shanti. Welcome back to your own channel. See the Sutta Truth Lies Within. And today we're going to talk about the 28th day of our Kali blessing, which is a day before Shivratri. And then we're going to record the 29th day of our Kali blessing. So let's go ahead with the 28th day, a night prior to Shivratri. So in this Kali blessing, Baba says, May you be full of soul conscious feelings and good wishes and increase your account of accumulation with every word of yours. So every word of ours has an effect on the soul whom we use that word for and either it is accounted as something positive in our karma's basket or the bank of a karma or it is accounted for negative so if we give anybody trouble or we call it as dukha or that means if we give anybody sadness through our words then it comes to us first and it is also added to the negative balance that means towards loss instead of profit so let's understand what is Baba want to say over here Baba says both your feelings and intentions are experienced from your words what is a feeling and what is our intention why have we spoken that word towards that person maybe that person is right in front of us or could be that we are talking to somebody else about that person who is not in right in front of us right now if every word of yours has pure and elevated feelings and soul conscious feelings that means we are not creating any kind of disturbance or any kind of comparison or competition on the basis of physical features on the basis of intellect also who is more intelligence intelligent on the basis of color caste religion creed ethnicity and food even language we might make fun on the basis of food we might make fun on the basis of language also we could make fun on the basis of features also so that is not being soul conscious so when god says if every word of yours has pure and elevated feelings and soul conscious feelings your account of accumulation will increase with those words if your words have feelings of jealousy that means we are creating feelings of jealousy that's what we are vibrating and we're sending it across to the other souls competition and dislike to any percentage that means if the words which we take out are leading to competition there's jealousy there's competition and there's some kind of a dislike towards each other then God says then you lose a lot from your account with those words that means we are accumulated acclimating positive karma but with these words of jealousy dislike and competition our positive karma account is reduced that means we have made more loss you then lose a lot from your account with those words powerful words mean words which have the intention of benefiting and full of essence that means those words are actually uplifting other people they're not creating any kind of jealousy so sometimes our words could be uplifting to the person in the sense that we might say no you are doing wonderfully well as compared to that person now that is leading to jealousy so will it be counted in the positive no it won't be counted in the positive but if you are just focusing on that soul and asking that soul not to compare yourself with anybody else but focus on yourself and if you are not comparing that soul with anybody else then you are not creating any jealousy you are not creating any competition and you are not creating any dislike or for that soul towards any other soul so this is something which is required when you are doing any kind of management skills when you are doing any kind of uh, leadership whether it be as a boss in your job whether it be in your business whether as a family member or a family head then God says if your words have no essence they are accumulated in the account of waste that means waste karma is also a negative karma and sometimes we might take out words which are totally abusive words they also come into negative or waste karma and rather more in the waste and more in the negative karma because of which we are actually reducing our profit of karmas so much more on this can be learned at Brahma Kumari's Kali Spiritual University where you can learn in depth about which habits which activities which words are actually bringing us down on a daily basis and we might not even recognize those words and they become in a habit just because of seeing somebody else more about it at Brahma Kumari's do join 
Brahmakumari's seven-day Rajyog course and learn more about it with this Om Shanti.